In this video, we will show you how to repair a hole in your Bumby wool. Here's a little hole. I like to work from the wrong side, so I'm putting it inside out. Look at that, I can barely find it. Oh, there it is. So the first thing I like to do is take a piece of string that matches nicely, not string, thread. Cut a nice clean edge and thread your needle. I like to start in the edge of the hole and capture just a little bit. Pull your thread through and instead of tying a knot, we're gonna tie the thread through the hole. So that it can never pop out. And my secret is that I'm going to end up in the same spot and tie the other end to this loose piece. So I want to, I'm going to push to make the hole a little bit bigger this way and try to do loose tiny little stitches. And we're going to go make, take a couple of pieces of the fiber from one side. I'm going to go across the hole and take a couple pieces from the other side and then I'm loosely, you don't want to pull too tight or else you'll see the scarring more. So we're going to take a little piece from this side and then a little piece from the other side. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, it's too much. It's tiny, 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 tiny little bits. And I'm pulling it not super tight, it's quite loose still. Let's grab a couple of the fibers from this side. I'm almost trying to just capture it on the, this is a double-sided knit. I'm almost just trying to capture it from the ones, the back side of it. And just slowly knitting it back together. We're almost simulating how the fabric was made. Tiny little stitches. Now I'm at the end of the hole. <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna grab a couple more here. And I'm gonna work myself back to where I started. Again, tiny little stitches. And I'm being a little bit, keeping them a little bit further apart on the way back. And I'm kind of feeling it against my thumb or my finger that's holding the hole on the other side. All right, and now that I'm done, I'm gonna tie this to the string where I started. And then it's really nice and anchored and flat. I don't want to cut anything yet now that I have it all anchored. I like to just tuck my needle in here so I have it and don't lose it. I'm going to go look at my work. So here's my hole. And I caught it all. I'm putting my nail against it so I can see. And if you can see, you're going to have a bit of scarring, but it's barely noticeable and the hole is all sealed up. I feel like that's pretty good. So now I feel comfortable. My knots are all good, and I'm just gonna cut this off. You wanna leave a little bit of a tail so that your your, um, your knot doesn't come undone. So there you go, so you have a bit more scarring on this side, but you can barely see it on this side. 